Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to our Text Chainsaw Massacre, the game video. Today, a special one. Nick's not available. He, he's, his foot's messed up. Foot's broken. Uh, maybe. He's going to a podi podiatrist this week. True story. Oh, you really? look shocked. His broken? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, I think he, he, uh, the back of his foot got hit by a door, and it's knocked him out for like a month. Oh, wow. Yeah, so... Uh, I still want to get a patch review out, though, like right at the, the week mark of this update. So who better to talk to than Mr. I, Anthony D? Do I call you Mr. D? Uh, Anthony's cool. <laughs> Mr. D's a little creepy. <laughs> uh, for those that don't know Anthony, of course, he runs a YouTube channel similar to ours, covers the asym asymmetrical multiplayer horror genre. Uh, I think you're the best out there, Anthony, personally. Oh, really? You're my go-to source. <laughs> I, hey, it's it's uh, feelings are mutual. I d always go to yours for the hot topics. Your your thumbnails, I'm still jealous of, and you won't give me your assets. <laughs> oh yeah, I just I just send those over. I first of all, it's I don't get those assets myself. I have someone else who's doing it, so all credit to them. But uh, yeah, I can send those to you. Don't you actually take them in the source filmmaker though? And like, you're aren't you making those? No, uh, yeah, I do Blender now. I just dedicated uh, all my time to it. I tried. I tried to learn it. Couldn't do it. Oh, I'm still trash. <laughs> I try. <laughs> Your thumbnails are dope. I like the. I like people that can do those custom thumbnails like that because I can't. I used to. I had, a, I had a short run right at the end of F13 where I figured out Source Filmmaker. But in yeah, the, the Jason drinking the beer is my favorite. Yeah, yeah, I keep that one in the back pocket. Still got to <laughs> use that one. <laughs> He's holding the chopper, holding the chopper on the other shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So this new update for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it was a big one. It's by far the biggest one that's come out so far. You know, 250 plus fixes, a quote unquote fix. I don't know how many of those actually worked, but 250 potential fixes that were in there. A lot of changes, a lot of things that were tuned. And then, of course, the new DLC, which included a new family member, Nancy, new victim, Danny, and a new map, Nancy's House. So a lot of stuff in there. Where, where do you want to start? You want to start with the DLC? We can, we can go there right away. Yeah, we, if you want, we can start with the map. Yeah, the, the, so the map, uh, I will say I figured it out a lot faster than I thought I was going to. So because that's always an area of concern with these maps. They were The first three were really hard to figure out. Yeah. Uh, but I think kind of now that we understand their formula, per se, like how gaps and crawl spaces are going to work and – you know, the objectives themselves and kind of have an educated guess on where to find things. We figured this one out pretty fast. Yeah, the map had some interesting things. There's a few ways to get to the front gate, like a yeah. lot, actually, like four. And yeah. then the generator that cuts off the middle of the map with the road was interesting. Yeah, if in terms of rushing victim squads. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that's what I was getting at. Yeah, it's the worst map to play on, I think, if you're a family main, which uh, let me clarify right now, because everyone either they shit on me and they call me a family main or they shit on me and call me a victim main. I'm a quick match main. I would actually say that I prefer playing victim, but I, I can't. Do you have that same experience, too, where you just can't play victim because everyone's just dodging on family? Yeah, it, it, it's bad. And this patch didn't do much for that. I thought no Leatherface was going to make everyone happy, but uh, still people backing out. Well, I, it's hard to judge too much yet. I figured the first week with new DLC was going to be bad. And we're, so we're right at that mark. Uh, I will say I haven't seen people dodging on the family side because of Nancy. It, it, we're actually at, at a point from what I've seen like yesterday where people are leaving the game once somebody switches to Nancy. And that's on the family side. People like they switch to Nancy and they leave. And it's like, what, you don't want a Nancy on your team? Like that's the problem? Or they, the slaughterhouse is still is constantly dodged now. Gas yeah. stations dodged. And I get it either. It's hard to judge. It's like, are you just dodging because you don't want to play at that map because you feel it's victim-sided? Or are you dodging because you want to play at Nancy's house and you're still learning that? Or you want to, you want to play as Nancy and get her in time, whatever it is. So I'm trying not to be too pissed off at it yet, but it's really hard. <laughs> and it's what's worse is it seems like it's impossible to fill one family member spot. When, when one person leaves, that one spot just does not want to fill. Yeah, it kills I, my lobbies every time. Yeah, I think I've been saying this for three months now, and I don't. I, it's probably not an easy thing to implement, but I, I think they need to just get rid of the the lobby timer 
unless yep. it's full. Like once it hits seven people in there, seven people, it's full lobby. Then a, a one minute timer starts. I think that's how it should be because every time it feels like you're 10 seconds away from getting somebody to join and then the lobby just shuts down you just then you have to search for another two minutes to get back into a lobby just for that one to end too yeah this lobby timer seems like it's been an issue like since the beginning like every single patch has been tweaked back and forth three minutes five minutes it it just needs to be gone once it fills up you can do it like just like you said like i don't know i don't know any other game that does it the way this game does it yeah i it is honestly it is the worst like pre-game lobby experience i've ever had in a video game yeah. uh and that's saying something because i played a lot of call of duty and it <laughs> sucks there too uh so yeah it, it is it's rough and it's it's like i can't play victim i have to play family because at least if people are dodging on victim side the spots fill because there's way more victim players than there are family players yeah which i got i was able to get my nancy to level two danny i'm i think i'm close to level one i just I can't play him. Yeah, I have Nancy Max out. I was able to get Nancy Max out on the first day because I was able to play family <laughs> all day. Uh, but D Danny, I'm still, I think I just hit level two. So still got a significant amount of XP to earn to get him maxed out. So then what are your thoughts on Nancy? If you have her level three, got some time put into her, how do you feel? Well, I'll say that her spy ability where you can go through her vision and look through the eyes of a, a victim at level three, it becomes the real deal. Mm -hmm. At level three, it, it actually works. You will know exactly, as long as you understand the maps and you know the map layouts, you will know exactly where that victim is. Uh, there is a counter to it, and it's, it is a very effective one. As long as, especially if you have a high sensitivity, the second that pops up on the victim side where it says Nancy's sensing you, just s spam your camera. <laughs> Go crazy. Uh, yeah, especially if you're on PC and you can just really go crazy with your mouse, just swing it like crazy because, yeah, you can't you can't tell what's going on. If you look at the floor, you look at the ceiling or you're just spinning in circles, like you, it will counter Nancy. You will not be able to tell. Yeah, I've, I've run to it, run into it a few times where people are look down in the bushes. You can't really tell. Yeah, so it, it's she that ability is counterable. So I don't think it's overpowered, uh, but it, it, it can be really clutch. Like I've we've caught people several times where they're like, they just got to the battery and we didn't notice. And we got yeah. able to get there in time because of her vision or the generator or whatever on a certain gate. Uh, so it can be extremely clutch, but it is counterable as long as you're not interacting with an objective at the time that she uses the ability on you. Yeah. And I, I like her traps as well. There's some pretty nasty perks for her traps. Yeah. And she uh, has a ton of perks too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she has, I think she might have the most unique perks in the yeah. game. And yeah, I can. I, I, I never found that her traps got super overpowered. Even when you have uh, hurt them maxed out where it gets 50% more damage. Mm -hmm. I didn't even think that that was that bad. It's not the damage of the traps. That's the problem. It's that it, it slows you down like crazy and you actually fall on your knees. Yeah. And there's a perk that like, like you, I believe level one is like, you can't take it off for the first 10 seconds. Yeah, so you which have, like you tripping, you the highlighting, all that stuff. So that's what I run at least. Yeah, that that that's an extremely powerful one because if if you have the bar wire still on your feet, one you're always making noise if mm -hmm. you're moving. So the, the the whole time you're being tracked down by family, and if you go back through a crawl space, now even if it's not the same crawl space, any crawl space or gap that you go through uh, with with the bar wires on your feet, you fall over again. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, so if you are going through gaps with that still on your feet, which I don't know if this is intentional, it might end up being nerfed, but yeah, you'll mm -hmm. you'll fall over again. Yeah, that that's tough, especially when she's on you, and uh, she has that sissy perk as well, where her poison with her hits slows yeah, you down. Poison, that one poison claws. Yeah, <laughs> that one is also brutal. That perk can fuck off, dude. <laughs> Seriously, right? They, I, I honestly think it anything anything that uh, applies poison to a weapon where you don't have to go through poison just get it out of the game for the love of god <laughs> get rid it's, of it. it's so bad man like or you gotta make it at least where it doesn't stack uh, like because yeah. right now you know the you could stack five hits on top of each other and the victim can't move they're just stuck there you know running back and forth because they can't go in a straight line it's a br absolutely brutal perk and that's the only thing to me that breaks nancy right now is poison claws yeah, it's it's almost impossible to get away from a good Nancy when she has that. 
yeah, it's disgusting. I, I don't like it. But uh, on the on the victim side of things, there's there's Danny. And, mm-hmm. and Danny was a, the second you read his ability on paper, you're like, wow, that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> I, I don't think it's as bad as what it sounded like, but it is it's really powerful. So yeah. Danny, yeah. Danny has this ability where he can tamper actual objectives, where he can make it where you, you – I swear to God they hot fixed it because there was we, – we tested it where if, if you used it on the fuse, the fuse would never shut off. Like yeah, 10, I, I don't understand his power, so you'll you'll have to explain it to me more. But he, So he doesn't have the ability to do a permanent open on anything or just the fuse? I It's, it's – nothing i don't think it's like it's a long long time it's still really powerful um yeah, like if it's you, a long if you, cool down yeah if you use it on the valve that's i think the valve is where it becomes really really powerful uh because you cannot shut the valve off mm-hmm. so if yeah it will eventually the gate will close eventually but the actual valve itself you cannot go over there and shut it off so the door opens no matter what and and that's like that's stupidly powerful, uh, especially it's not that hard to get knowledge and make it happen. When I was first playing uh, with him, especially when you're level zero with him, to to get knowledge and, and get knowledge from the lamps and the the radios and all that inspecting things. One inspecting takes forever at level zero, and mm-hmm. you don't get as much knowledge. But once you have it at level two, you're you can inspect faster. And you get more knowledge per inspection. You can inspect like five things and almost do an entire objective just like that. It also doesn't seem like you need that much knowledge to get a good amount done on the objectives. Yeah, honestly, you could, it, especially if you have it where you get thirty percent more knowledge from inspecting. You could just inspect the item that you want to tamper, which you know the valve. Like you just go up to the valve, you'd have no knowledge. You have to inspect it anyway before you even tamper it it's required that mm-hmm. you spe- uh, you inspect it so you would have probably enough knowledge to fill two of the bars yeah. on on the mini game just from inspecting that one thing which is pretty crazy okay so would you say that he's overpowered or you think he's just dangerous uh yeah, yeah. overpowered is being thrown around a lot in this game right now so mm-hmm. i don't want to say he's overpowered i i think there he he needs a little bit of adjustment for sure and maybe that's just on the knowledge side of things like maybe he gets too much knowledge from inspecting those main objectives uh I, he's so counterable because he's just gonna get tunneled yeah i was gonna say he has a huge target on his back yeah he's just gonna get tunneled i i think in a good squad is where he he seems stupid as hell because they're just going to defend the hell out of him let him get his knowledge and then he's going to instantly you know tamper something because once you get to level three either you can instant inspect something or you can instant tamper something mm-hmm. and you i've already seen several clips of like you're in mid chase and you're at i think alucard posted this one mid chase at the battery the gate's already picked with the battery still on and he instant tampered it and the battery shuts off mid chase he's able to escape through the battery that way yeah, I agree. I don't think he's I don't want to use the word overpower. I think he's dangerous, similar to Connie. And I think he has a huge target on his back. So majority of the family can get him out pretty easily when if they want to. Yeah, and it, it would be he would be overpowered if he could get bomb squad, but he can't. Yeah, <laughs> if he get bomb squad, I'd be throwing my controller at the wall. But no, it's it's without bomb squad. He's not too bad. He is powerful. No doubt about it. Like, no doubt about it, he's going to be important in squads. Uh, he's going to be seen all the time, and he's going to get tunneled. But, yeah, I, I don't think – I wouldn't call him overpowered, just powerful. I'm also a little upset that his perks, like fast hands, isn't going to be available for other victims. Yeah, which I I could have sworn – they because that's not even a unique perk. Yeah, I – I was expecting it to be like to, when new characters come out, we get new perks for everyone that we can redo our skill trees and, you know, figure that stuff out. But it was a little heartbreaking to see that. Yeah, so far it's not the case. I liked uh, I know engines uh, where you can see Leatherface. Uh, if he's in within yeah. 40 meters of you, you can see him. Uh, that I think that's a great perk, too. That would definitely I don't know if it's so great on Danny. Uh, but if you could throw that onto a different victim and play play stealthier with it, I think that would be a really cool perk to spread it out, which I hope they change that where it does start showing up on other skill trees. 
Yeah, I, I hope that gets changed, especially with like a Nicotera Leatherface. You can't hear the saw. It's nice having that perk. Yeah, I will. That's a that was a big change in this this patch is they buff that sound up a lot. Like it is yeah. significantly louder now, uh, which actually the only downfall for me of that is that playing as him. Dude, it's so much louder in my ear now. Like, can we? Is there a way to keep it quieter for Leatherface players? I I understand that that's part of the the hard part of playing as him is that you're not going to hear people as much. And mm-hmm. if you want to hear them moving around, you need to you know idle your chainsaw and come back down and use your focus ability, whatever. So I get it, but is there a way to do that while not you know blowing my eardrums? I, I don't know. I, I'm. I imagine some form of it would just give players an advantage and then people would complain about it. So I don't, I don't know how you do it without doing that, but yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not an easy change, but I mean, do you remember all the, the uh, Billy complaints and De- dead by daylight and how it like it would cause literal hearing issues? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a fair point. Actually. I didn't think about it like that. Yeah. Like true talent. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but yeah, his ears were messed up from paying Billy so much. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I don't want that. I play Leatherface a lot, man. <laughs> and so I feel like I'm just going more and more deaf. Uh, so I wish there was a way to address that without having it being a major buff uh, to playing him as well, because then you can just hear everything on top yeah. of it. So uh, that Speaking would be Leatherface, nice. uh, how do you feel about no Leatherface required? Well, I, I will say it's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Hey. I, I, I think he's really important still, uh, but like the obstacles being in the way has only become like a factor here and there. It yeah. really hasn't been too bad. And, and I do think a lot of the combos that are being run are pretty trash. Uh, I still think, I think the only team outside of the OG three that is good without Leatherface is Nancy cook and hitchhiker. Um, yep. you, you've I've seen you know I think that there's like Johnny Sissy and Hitchhiker Johnny Sissy Cook and I don't think those work as much but yeah there there are some good teams out there that have already made it really unique builds with these with these other characters without Leatherface and uh, yeah it's it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be it's a little sad still yeah but. I think I've only had maybe two experiences where someone would stay behind Leatherface barricades and kind of troll a little bit. Um, but outside of that, it honestly didn't change as much as I thought. And I was really against it. And yeah. uh, like you said, Cook, Nancy and Hitchhiker seem to be like the, the deadly trio outside of Leatherface. Yeah, I it's it, you have to have Nancy, I think, max out for it becomes really powerful. Um, but there's just so much map control when you people, if you're not using the focus ability, seriously, like that's needs to learn it. It's your number one priority. Cause once you have three traps that can be seen in a focus ability from hitchhiker, potentially even more traps. If you're running, uh, what is it? Pins and needles for Nancy, where mm-hmm. there's a 25% chance it won't use her inventory, which delete that perk right now. Yeah, just get rid of that. That's fucking perk. Yeah. That's stupid. I, there, there are people that have put down eight traps eight traps oh, really <laughs> yeah because every time because it's not just the th- your three traps that you get 25 percent, right y- if you don't use it you get 25 percent again 25 percent again so you could just if the the luck is you know you get lucky you can place a ton of traps and that's stupid i yeah just, it should probably only affect your original three traps yeah you still have a chance to get six though i mean yeah <laughs> which on family house that trio is 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 rough to go against yeah, you have to – the only way to beat them on Family House, unless they choke, but the only way to beat them on Family House is to absolutely bull rush. Yeah. Like that's the only counter to that I've seen really against a good team running Nancy Cook and Hitchhiker is that you need to get out. You need to get to a main objective and do something before they get all their traps down. Yeah, absolutely. Otherwise, you're screwed. <laughs> it gets bad every second you're still in the basement which by the way i was going to ask you about is the cooldown yeah the i it's not even noticeable for me yeah same i i i actually totally forgot about it until i was like 10 games in like, <laughs> oh yeah that's right the only time it becomes like it's noticeable is if you're trying to shoulder leatherface as leland like yeah. it, i've never seen a julie 
run their ability in the basement. I've never seen a well, I've seen it, but not many Connies will pop a lock with her ability in the basement. Yeah. Uh, you know, Sonny, okay, whatever. You don't need Sonny in the first 60 seconds. You shouldn't anyway. <laughs> uh, and then who who would I miss? Well, Danny, obviously, that doesn't really first of all his you can use his ability to, you can still inspect things right away if danny couldn't inspect things in the first 60 seconds maybe it would be more noticeable yeah but, which is interesting that they allowed him to yeah because it's part of his ability yeah right so because yeah it's and like it, he's gonna tamper anything down there it didn't seem to slow anything down at all no not even a little bit yeah not even a little bit like it's if you actually wanted to slow down the early game, the only way to do it is to tank proficiency in the first two minutes, which I think that's kind of dumb because if you devote a whole build to proficiency and you want to max out proficiency instead of toughness or endurance or whatever, then you should be allowed to do that and you should be able to pop the door like that. So yeah, you'd have to literally take away one of the attributes, at least for the first two minutes, to slow it down. Yeah. Players are gonna rush no matter what it seems the little the door ping or or sorry the the ping the sound ping um when people are slamming doors has has stopped people from door slamming much more i've noticed because you can see them behind it didn't stop me (laughs) (laughs) didn't just didn't stop me no uh so that i've seen a lot of people really really upset about that that door slams that sound follows you but it you just slammed a door like, yeah, I don't know. I, I, it doesn't last very long. It's pretty quick. And, you know, I understand that you use door slams if you're actually using them to not be an asshole like me. Uh, you, you use them to get distance. I get it. But you're still getting the distance. You know, like it door slams in and of itself already don't make sense. Like they they're you're never going to hit Leatherface with a door <laughs> with a hundred and ten pound Connie and actually knock him on his ass and stun him like that yeah so it's already doesn't make any sense to have the sound follow you i don't think is that big of a deal in comparison to what you just did yeah i think people are mad because it it stops the ability of like slamming that door and then running and hitting a corner or something and maybe the sure. family runs past you but if you're playing that fast there's always going to be a high risk i feel so i'm fine with it yeah it, it never and i, I was I use door slams all the time and I never really found that it screwed me over because mm-hmm. I, I use door slams to just get to the next door. You get to the next door, get to the next gap, whatever it is. Uh, but I understand that if you want to use a door slam, then be stealthy afterwards. That can be frustrating, but it's, I don't know. It, there's the other thing, like just to on the victim side of things for, to be the devil's advocate on that. There is no real combat in the game. I mean, Mm -hmm. yeah, there are bone scraps and then door slams, but you really can't do anything else to fight back beyond that, which I like. I think it makes it scarier. Um, And door slams and bone scraps have actually made the game not scary. So, yeah, uh, you know, it's but I get it. That's the only one of the only ways you could fight back. And now it kind of got nerfed for you. So that's I get it to a degree. Yeah, but uh, (laughs) um. Uh, let's I want to go back to to Nancy's house a little bit because we didn't really get to go too far into that. Uh, so the we mentioned the the front gate, which I it, that map is just built to rush, man. I, it, I don't know you'd have to change some things pretty drastically to slow it down, but you can either rush the sewer corridor door in the basement, which is right by Leatherface's lair. You could rush that door and you can rush battery gate like instantly. Mm-hmm which people do. And if they're not doing that, they're rushing the man cave door and they're pushing garage instantly. And then you can either pick the garage door. You can pick the suit, uh, the cellar door, or you could pick the gate outside and go up the ladder. All those three doors all go up to Nancy's house, which then can lead up to the front exit. But then there's also, you can just shut the gen off and rush through there. And that wouldn't be so freaking bad if, the ops or the gaps in crawl spaces that are over on that side of the map in Nancy's front yard were yeah. the they're on. You can't possibly, unless you are a trash victim, you are not going to get caught slipping over there. If it's one V one. And actually there's a, uh, I, I forgot his name, but somebody did this against me, uh, where I was Leatherface and I got stuck chasing them past the gen and to Nancy's front yard. And I, 
I couldn't leave them until my teammates came because they could have just popped the front gate open. So I chased them for four minutes, wasting time. <laughs> Four minutes, and it's on TikTok. He posted on TikTok. Um, he made fun of me a lot, by the way. He he was nice and DM <laughs> me, but he hurt my feelings a little bit. Listen to his commentary. But like, what did you want? There's nothing I could do. I have to sit there and commit to you and waste time until my teammates get there. Otherwise, you're going to open the most powerful exit on the map. Yeah, it's like you said, it's built to rush. There's a lot of many different routes for them to go. And it's all very awkward for family to cover as well. So yeah. I don't know. It's my experience on that map has been like one or two things. Either we kill them all extremely fast or they escape extremely fast. There's never been a middle ground for me. Yeah, it's an exterior alarms is an absolute necessity. Oh, yeah. on that. It's really a necessity in general now, especially against fast victims. Uh, but on that map, especially if you don't have exterior alarms, you're in trouble. Yeah, it's, it's like... Uh, only grandpa perk worth it but it really shines on that map yeah i mean that's the only grandpa perk we run we won't even run the other two i mean if no one escapes hell can be effective and then like you can get benefits from the other ones but not enough where i'm willing to risk putting exterior alarms at level three i mm. just i want it to be level one i wanted to get it right away because if not you're just you're in danger in against trouble. anyone <laughs> rushing you yeah you have to it People have rushed so fast, especially at Nancy's house, that even if I devote, I'm not even going to put my traps down as hitchhiker or cook or whatever. I'm not even going to put my traps down until I have enough blood to max out or to get grandpa to level one. People will go so fast that they'll still beat me to they'll be out of the basement and like at an exit door before I even get exterior alarms again. Like they're be, God, they got it down, man. Like the yeah. victim squads have got it down. Um, but at the same time, there's there's so many family benefits Like you can counter it. You just you have to be just as fast. And it's just tough. Um, it, the game's at this weird point now where we're all so comfortable playing that we can. The, the scare element is already kind of going away. Yeah. So people are not scared to to rush at Leatherface and troll Leatherface. And uh, and that's fine. It's the way you play. And you a good Leatherface can still catch you slipping. Happens all the time. But it, yeah, it's just the, the scare factor is gone. And that's what I the early like tech test days with TCM. That's what made it feel so special is that it was the scariest ASIM experience to date. And that's kind of faded away. That tech test is magic. And I, I don't think we'll ever catch it again. But and that's just how these asymmetrical games kind of go is it's hard to keep that horror there. And I think Gun yep. is pushing for it, especially trying to slow the game down as much as they can. Well, almost every issue I have with the game in terms of like gameplay itself and not like server issues and things like that, unlockables, you know, in terms of actual gameplay, my biggest issue almost always circles back to the metagame. Almost mm -hmm. always circles back to the metagame. I like, honestly, if you make a hardcore mode, no metagame, no attribute points, no perks, no HUD, like all of it just gone. The game is scary again. Rush meta goes away because you can't even, you can't rush that fast when you don't have max proficiency or you don't have the perks to go with it. So it yeah. slows that it slows the game down too. And it, like yeah, victims are taking a hit there because but so so is family right. You're not you, one shot. Leatherface is gone. Mm -hmm. Right, especially if you get rid of the ability tree too. If like the ability tree is not there, then you can't you'll stall every time you do a big hit. Yeah, definitely. It'll slow it down a lot more. And it, 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 I do agree. It, it was it was like almost the perfect balance without the yeah. meta tree. But when you add that those in those attribute points, everything, it does change it a lot. Yeah. And, and to to this day, I still don't think one is overpowered over the other. Uh, you know, I, I escape a lot as victim. I get 4Ks a lot as family, but I also I lose a lot as family. I lose a lot as victim. So I, I still think it's a relatively balanced experience. But when when things go wrong on either side, you can always point a finger at a perk or you can yeah. always point a finger at, at a certain meta. And it's like I it becomes a much more skill based game the second met the meta game is removed. And that, that's I don't like when a perk gives you a free W. It's the same thing on, on Dead by Daylight. It has that issue all the time. It's like if one perk makes you a good player like if you wouldn't escape without that perk it just drives me nuts i don't know 
Yeah, I don't think I don't know if there's ever a game out there with perks like this that change it that could I don't know. I think I think perks in general are are hard to to balance like you said. Um I'm looking at like choose flight on the family house early game like sure. That was a game changer. Um Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they get to that point. But it does feel balanced. Uh, typically for me, my, in my experience, a lot of the times it's my t- my team. Like if I have a good team that's communicating on either side, I'll, I'll perform well. And yeah. if you don't, <laughs> you don't. So, yeah, that that is that that's definitely still a key part of the game, right? C- communication. Um, mm-hmm. That's why a squad is going to you know heavily outperform anybody that's solo queuing. Uh, it's about communication and knowing, calling out what you're doing and. And splitting up, especially on the victim side, splitting up the family, mm-hmm. that is that is key. Making those distractions, and on the family side, you know you have to. I, I we actually been having this issue a lot lately, um, just because if you're playing with somebody you haven't played with before, really, even if you have comms, like if I think you're over there covering something and you're not, because we didn't communicate properly, now mm-hmm. that that exit just opened. And it keeps having a Nancy's house, like that freaking battery side catches me yep. off guard all the time, so. Yeah, it it is a lot about comms now. But if, if they're not going to add a hardcore mode, which maybe someday they do, I don't know if I don't know what the concurrent player base looks like outside of Steam. Like I feel like Xbox probably has a lot of people because of Game Pass, and mm-hmm. PlayStation tends to be the highest selling platform even now for most games. So I I would think that those have way more players than PC, but could be wrong. But if you throw another game mode in the mix, it could make queue times horrific so yeah which i think personally there's queue times are probably the biggest issue with the game yeah it's not even the queue times it's the lobby dodging because i yeah. you'll find a game decently fast like victims can it can go up to like two minutes now family if you search family you'll be at a game in 15 seconds mm-hmm. um but yeah it's it's when people just dodge. You get into a game, you have a full full lobby, and then there go three people. There, it's like okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's it's the dodging, and I don't know how you address it because you can't just ban people for leaving a game. I personally would like to see them do what Dead by Daylight does when there's like a lot of survivors. They'll put the little bit of bonus points on killers. Like I think that would be nice. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> this is where like because me at ninety nine. I that doesn't help me at all. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> this is why they they need to get the in, in game currency in check a, mm-hmm. as quickly as possible. They need to get that in there. So if you can get a bonus in game currency as a result of playing the whoever has less players, that then it's worth it. Then it's worth yeah. it to do it again. Uh, they just they're so far behind on unlockables and in in game currency. Like there's a whole section of this game that is missing right now, uh, and. And that's what it's that DLC and, and unlockables and in-game currency, all of that. It's just not there yet. And I hope it gets there. But until then, they're going to be struggling because that is, that's one of the biggest replayability components in these games is the ability, even when you're at max level, the ability to still unlock things and earn yeah. things. It's that's just always gone. felt like this game has been a little lacking on the unlockable side. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, speaking of in-game currency, well, how do you feel about Danny and Nancy and like, how do you feel about the term pay to win? Do you, do you think that 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 is accurate for them? Uh, that's a good question. Um, it's a, it's hard to define because they do have or Danny specifically does have a ability that is better than a lot of the other characters. And aim for him does give you a little bit of an advantage. So by definition, it does fit it. But like we said yep. earlier, I don't think he's overpowered. I think he's just dangerous, similar to Connie. So yes and no. <laughs> if I yeah, just... I mean, because uh, pay pay to win doesn't mean pay to be overpowered, right? And uh, I think that's kind of gotten lost in translation a bit. Like if you buy Danny. And you, for your, especially if you're playing with a squad, if you buy Danny, is your squads better? And the, to me, the answer is yes. You, mm-hmm. He is going to make a squad better. Uh, Nancy, not necessarily the case, but can be the case. You know, it depends on on the the three you're running, what trio you're running. So yeah, I, yeah they they fall under the category of pay to win. And if uh, 
you just have an in-game currency, I will shut up. I'll never say pay to win again. Yeah, it, that's very important. Giving people another way to earn those characters is is huge. Yeah, even I mean, it could be a brutal like grind to make it happen. Like, look at if those who played Rainbow Six Siege know what that's like. If you don't want to buy characters, you can get them for free, but you have to work your ass off to make it happen. And I think that's fine. I like go ahead. Uh, yeah, the more the more, and this might be uh, I might be on my own, but the more to grind for me, I, I like. I want yeah. levels, I want skins, I want cosmetics, I want credits, I want everything. Yeah, I 100% agree. That's where the replayability comes from. Mm-hmm. Like if, if you're maxed out, and if you're not like passionate about the game like we are, uh, where you're always going to come back to no matter what, if you, once you max out in TCM, which does admittedly take a lot longer than most games, uh, yeah. but once you're maxed out, I could see uh, people just walking away because you don't have anything to to work for anymore in a, in a multiplayer game you just need that for for keeping the game alive yeah which is something dead by daylight's kind of nailed with the prestige system and all that kind of stuff so yeah if there's one thing that that dead by daylight has absolutely crushed it is that their metagame side of things their unlockables because uh, even aside from prestiging like the add-ons and offerings are almost enough to keep you going you know, and that's just one tiny, tiny little piece of that puzzle. But like to to have some like imagine if your grandpa perk was was like an offering in Dead by Daylight where you use it and it's gone. Yeah, that's like, a good idea. Yeah, like something like that. You have to I don't know what you do on the victim side um, to, to balance that out. But yeah, like if you actually had to earn it and and, and constantly be trying to unlock exterior alarms again, mm-hmm. like. I just think that would be more fun, more challenging, just more things to work for. Especially with all of our skill points we have left over like 300 or something. Yeah. Yeah. Even if, if you're maxed out and you just maxed out Danny and Nancy, you're still sitting at high three hundreds. Yeah. So put it to work. Give us something to work for and grind for. Yeah. In, in due time, hopefully I hope that comes sooner rather than later. Yeah. Uh, all right. We got a few more things here. Let's talk about uh, slaughterhouse slaughterhouse and that that big change so all the valves have been taken out of the basement and you can now add a padding a padlock to the sliding door of slaughterhouse those are the big changes on that map the biggest change on that map is they put a nugget by every door well yeah yeah <laughs> which dude nugget said this is actually a little hidden buff to nugget here because of the the sound following and then them on top of the sound yep. following you, they added nuggets everywhere. <laughs> Dude, yeah, like stabbing nugget is suddenly a priority and it hurts my heart. I don't like stabbing nugget. He's he's seriously like the fourth family member on that map. There's so many times he's come in clutch for me. Yeah, you know, him being at the especially sitting right on the sliding door. You you are not yeah. allowed to pick the sliding door without setting off nugget, and that's just wild. You have to plan to stab him, but uh the padlock on the sliding door, I haven't, it, it definitely helps. It helps with map control mm-hmm. to be able to do that. Uh, I actually don't, the, uh, how many valve escapes have you seen on Slaughterhouse since that yeah, change? Zero. Yeah. I, zero I've, for us. I've gotten a few myself, but I think, uh, I think I've done it like four times. I think three of them were because of Danny. Oh, really? Yeah. So I, I think I'm not really, the thing is they doubled down. They did too much to the valve because on top of the slaughterhouse changes, you also have the valve changes, which you can shut the valve off in five seconds now as family. Yeah. It's like three turns. They can get it off. Yeah. So family can shut it off way faster. Mm-hmm. Like it's half the time it used to be. And it depressurizes. Now the depressurizing is really, really, really slow, but yeah. it's there. It's there nonetheless, and it does help. So you have that. And yeah, like I said, you shut it off faster. And now in Slaughterhouse, you pulled them out of the basement. So like just you just tanked the valve in there. But they did say that that's what they want. They said it should be the last resort. I always kind of felt that they were doing that because of Danny. Because of Danny. I yeah. like I 100 percent think that's why Like they I think they could smell the overpowered Danny calls coming. <laughs> I think they could see it coming. So they, or it's not even so much that I think 
and I, this kind of looks bad for them. And I, there's no way for me to say this without making them look bad, but I think they wanted people to need Danny. I, I think, I think it makes, it, it makes that $10 price tag not look nearly as bad <laughs> when the valve is almost impossible without him. Okay. So little, little shitty. All right. It, there's, <laughs> but it, I, it definitely makes, it makes Danny way more valuable. If it mm-hmm. wasn't for those changes, you would be like, ah, Danny's, he's good. He's, he's still powerful, but he's not, he's not break the valve and make yeah. an, an, an easy escape powerful, you know? Yeah. In my games, people have just kind of given up on it. Like I didn't have anyone really push it maybe once or twice over the weekend. So I didn't see too much of a change other than just they gave up on it. Yeah, it's now it, it's really serves as a distraction more than anything else. Yeah. Again, unless you have Danny, if Danny tampers <laughs> it, then then tough, um, which that's so crazy. Even more so now, it's like nobody could possibly escape from you with the valve. But Danny makes it where you can. I don't, just makes him a little bit more powerful. But I think they when it comes to Slaughterhouse, because of the valve changes on top of the moving the valve out of the basement, I think they did too much. I would, mm-hmm. I think the only spot that was annoying as hell with the valve on Slaughterhouse was the lair because okay. as family, it, it took so long to get to it. Like unless you had somebody already close to it, like sitting in the bone room or sitting like in the holding pen or whatever, you had to go so far to get to it. By the time you get there, you get stabbed one time and it goes off. So, so you're thinking bringing just that one upstairs? Yeah, and you could put it uh, deep off and like in the e- – either you could just remove it, in my opinion, just have it just be furnace room or pump storage. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, maybe that's not enough variety, but yeah, or just throw it off into the holding pen corner. Just, yeah. Just getting getting to the lair was a pain. But now with the, with the changes to the valve, I don't think we need them all up there, which I it's funny because I feel like a hypocrite because I'm like I've been pushing to get those goddamn things out of the <laughs> basement this whole time, but – if you're going to change the valve or you shut it off in four and a half seconds and it depressurizes, I probably, you don't need all three of them. You don't need yeah. all of that changing. So, um, valve, should we talk about that smoke room exit, that change on gas station? It, it works. I yeah. Guess. I thought, I thought for sure they were going to electrify it, but it just putting the gate there, I guess works. Yeah. I kind of neglects the whole point that, <laughs> Like, like, this is why Nancy's house annoys me too. What the fuck is the point of having a generator? Like, yeah. what's the what's the point? You don't have to shut it off. Like, I, it's like I'm pretty sure the way these maps release, the way they're the order they're in, is the order in which they design them. So, family house generator has to be shut off if you want to go out that exit. You know, uh, you go over to slaughterhouse generator has to be shut off if you want to go out that exit. But then they're like, you know what? Fuck the generator. All right. We got the gas station. What if we add a little secret door that you could go through without <laughs> the generator? And then they did the same thing at Nancy's house where you could completely bypass that generator. Yeah, it's. And again, in my experience, no one's touching the gen. They're going for the side door. They're going battery. Yeah. Or or the gen's just a distraction. So you can push battery. Yeah. It's yeah. It's like nothing more than that anymore. Like anybody that kicks the gen at gas station Ninety yeah. percent of the time, they're just doing it to be an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> like it's it's nothing more than that. How do you feel about changes to Johnny? Uh, dude, he sucks. He's yeah, so bad. What happened? Yeah, I I feel I because I don't give a shit. I never played Johnny. I don't think his ability is good enough. And and you have the you know shotgun build Johnny's, and he is dangerous. Which that's. Dude, the cook's got two abilities. Nancy's got two abilities at the end of the day. (laughs) Johnny's got one, and it's okay. So his ability was that he was dangerous, just like Leatherface. He's Mm -hmm. dangerous. You don't want to be caught in the open with him. Now, Jesus, you could could avoid him so easily. It's weird because I could have swore they said in the last community stream that Johnny was where they want him to be, but then they still touched him. Yes, yeah, this is a problem with these community streams. I love the transparency. I love that they're doing them and talking to us like that. But the amount of things they've already changed their mind on from yeah. like one stream to the next is like significant. But they're also listening to feedback. But 
were that were that many victims really sh- like bitching about Johnny? Like were that many victim mains really bitching about him? Because like I go against him all the time, and I love when I see Johnny in there. Because to me, you lose so much map control when Johnny's in there. Yeah, I felt like after they they touched him for the speed tech, uh, he was in a decent spot. He was just a Leatherface Junior. If you get caught in the open, he he gets you. Yeah. Um, but they. And the, and also the change with the the tracking ability with like the uh, the crouch walking stuff like that, it's like whatever. But um, it went too far, and I'm, I'm at least happy to see that Wes replied to someone saying that they're looking at him again. Okay, so, I didn't see oh. that, so I'm, yeah, I'm glad. Yeah, so hopefully he gets uh, some love soon. Yeah, I I understand that you know seeing Johnny running around catching butterflies was kind of getting a little annoying. <laughs> all right, because that's all Johnny's would do is just swing and swing and swing. Uh, but you, he can still swing like that. He's just not moving at all. Like he's just got no lunge at all. And, and yeah, it, it nerfed the hell out of him for sure. Probably a little, little too much, a little too much. Cause nobody's going to play him. Nobody's going to play yeah. him anymore. Uh, we have the stalling chainsaw. Uh, that's just a bug, but RIP to the new Leatherface players out there. Yeah. If you don't know that's a bug, you probably ought to install the game. <laughs> it was it was brutal, but I will. You can counter it. You can counter that bug. Is you just have to, you have to sit your rev rate at like ninety five percent. Like you have to be right at the top of the max rev, and then as long as the second you drop your saw, if you let go of your rev and redo it, you won't stall on the next swing. So okay, you can counter it, but you just have to be a tryhard. That's all. Yeah. Um, there was a chainsaw swapping that didn't make it into this update. Which, yeah, which, shame. yeah, it sucked a little bit. It was like the first thing as soon as I updated it went straight there and worked. Yeah, just one of those things that got lost in, in communication between Sumo and Gun. And when you have patch notes that are 250 fixes long. Yeah. There's going to be a couple of those that, that mess up. There, there was another one, actually. A change that they said that was going to be in there that was oh fuse box at gas station they said <laughs> they were going to move one of them and they didn't yeah i didn't notice any difference they seem like they're still next to each other yeah i i well they're supposed to be moving an entire fuse box is what they said like one of the fuse box spawns is going to be somewhere else so i figured they were referring to the shed one the one that spawns outside in but, the middle yeah yeah but nothing there are the three spawns are exactly the same. 250 like, fritzes. I guess it's, it's okay to have a few slip ups. We'll get them eventually. Yeah. I'm not going through and hand testing every single one of these things, but that was when I noticed. <laughs> and that's still, that's the only one at gas station where if it's outside, I, something about it being out there makes it so much easier to do as a victim. And I, I think it's just because there's so many areas to quickly access it. You come up the shed basement door and you have both a gap and a crawl space to defend you from it. You just go out a crawl space and it's sitting right there for you. Uh, and mm-hmm. same with tool storage, come with the ladder and it's right there. You th- you thinking about moving into like workshop or something? That's exactly where I'd put it. Yeah, yeah. workshop. But at the same time, though, that's another one. Like, it, I don't know. I don't know where you put it. You could put it on the outside of the house. Uh have one more spot there on the house. The problem is it being at the house is the only place where it can remain covered and in patrol. Like if you put it inside the workshop, you're going to miss it. It's for sure going to be used all the time. It's only, it's only bad because if the fuse box spawns outside and you do it as a victim, that you have two wells five feet away from you that land in front of the exit door. It's like, all right, I don't know why they laid it out like that, but there's really nowhere else to put it. Gas station's kind of awkward with that big circle of the map in the middle. So, yeah, that's a map I still think is pretty balanced. It's it's really balanced until something goes wrong for one team or the other. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I think it starts off balanced. But the second you get a kill, if you get a kill in the basement as family, you are now you now have the 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 favor like it's it's in your favor for sure but if you don't kill anyone in the basement and you get a connie that pops a padlock instantly off a gas station gate it is now in favor of the victims just like that like is now you're scrambling as a family 
Which, by the way, um, I think Nancy shines the most on Gas Station and probably Wait. shines the least on her own map. Uh, I agree. I agree 100%. There's a lot, a lot of crawl spaces in Gas Station that are very important, and you trap those up, it, it helps a lot. Yeah, I we've actually, when doing Nancy, Hitchhiker, and Cook, we've started just to not even trap objectives. Just mm -hmm. trap all the gaps. Yeah, uh, Especially if you're running pins and needles, and there's a chance that you can get eight freaking Nancy traps, <laughs> where are you going to go? Because, yeah, you get the workshop one, you get the shed one, both the shed ones, the middle gap that goes between mm -hmm. the house and the shed, and then you just hit the, all the gaps inside of the house, like the bathroom gap and the kitchen gap. God, being in chase as a victim on that map now is miserable. Yeah. Brutal. But there's also no other face. So it's like, I don't know. Balance. Yeah, it, it kind of works its way out. I, I found that with Nancy Cook and Hitchhiker, we were winning most games. Mm -hmm. uh, although it can be countered if you, again, if you rush it. But we were winning most games with that trio, but the games took forever. <laughs> they took yeah so long because you just can't get the kill you're gonna hold down objectives you're gonna have map control but you can't get the kill it just takes forever yeah it's it's even more so on hitch to do a lot of chasing with that setup so yeah they hit the base man it, it can take a little longer yeah if you're a hitchy man you're finally getting the xp you've always wanted because yeah. like <laughs> hitchhiker's getting like three k's and four k's because he's the only one that really can commit to a chase and get those kills. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't, I don't have anything else. I don't know. It's a, do you have anything else that we got to, we got to pinpoint on this update? Mm, nothing I can think of. Yeah, I think we, we hit most of on the head, but uh, it's overall a good update, you know, and I, I like I the agree. DLC. I like both the characters. I like the map, uh, but I'm, I already find myself like clamoring for more and it's yeah. <laughs> tough. Uh, when do you think, we're looking at probably for the next DLC drop in terms of characters. Anyway, we'll probably get cosmetics at like end of this month or early January. Yeah. We have the family cosmetics, right? That's what's coming next. Yeah. They said that it, it could sneak into either be the end of this month or early new year that they'll have the family, some sort of family cosmetic. And then, you know, like uh, uh, Danny's cosmetics, which they they have leaked. They fully leaked out, but also they're in, the game because if nobody picks Danny, he yeah. almost oh, he, if he's getting killed by Leatherface in the opening scene, he's almost always wearing a unreleased cosmetic. So, love that. It's a little sad Nancy didn't get any uh, recolors or anything. Yeah, and she only has two kills, but they're good. Yeah. They are I do cool like ass kills. kills. Yeah, actually, her. Uh, if you were to win a close encounter with her, that one's my favorite. I think her weapon cool is awesome skill. too. It's super brutal. Yeah, I forgot what that's called. Uh, no idea. Uh, God, I, I found it at one point. Somebody in our chat I hit it on the head, but I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, it's a cute little gardening tool there. And she uses the blunt side of it a lot, which is, just, yeah. I don't know, it's more brutal that way. Which, so what do you think? It's like every two months or three months? Probably three. Big... Probably three, yeah. So okay. my guess would be, be February, but... Uh, I don't know. They could try to push something out faster. Um, I mean, you already know, like, I'm sure you're out there looking and more leaks keep happening on, and stuff that's coming, which I was really hoping Sumo would tighten that shit down and not have future DLC in the files in this next update. I thought they'd learn their lesson. They didn't. They didn't. I don't get it. Is that like a, it has to be in the files? Like, no, why? no. Yeah, it it's doesn't. so strange. It doesn't. It's it's I don't I, I hate to throw this word around because like development is really fucking hard. Right. But it just to me, it just screams lazy like they're just missing it. Uh, mm -hmm. it the, if you look at the Steam page for the for TCM, it's they have like 10 builds. Right. So they're running QA builds and gun builds and this, this, this build. So when they're doing that, they're. I just I guarantee they're testing the new DLC already, the the new map and characters or whatever, and it's just all that shit is sneaking into other builds. They're doing it to save time. Mm -hmm. It's just so they can turn shit off and turn it back on to save time on their builds. And yeah, it's as a result, shit leaks. 
and I hate it. I fucking hate leaks. You can't avoid it now either. It's yeah. everywhere. Dude, yeah, the amount of people that just like tag us on Twitter and I'm like, yeah. well, like, like I, people give a shit for that. It's like, well, if you don't want to see him, why'd you click on it? Like, I didn't, dude. But when you put a big ass picture in front of me on Twitter, like, well, you want me to just turn all my notifications off? Like, I'm trying uh, to be a good person. It's dropping in the stream chat. It's immediately. Yeah, all the time. All the time. It's like, hey, have you heard about the new map? Like, yep. I have now, haven't I, asshole? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, oh, okay, what, one more, well, kind of two more things uh, before we wrap it up. Maria, how do, how do you feel about that? Because that was one of the leaks that Maria's yeah. body was going to be on the new map, and she's nowhere to be found. I am happy. I thought finding Maria would be a really big deal. And having it leaked sucked. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it's not there. And hopefully Gunn just changes course and surprises us in some different way. Yeah, I, I, I really hope it doesn't freaking leak. Like, yeah. We, we dodge one bullet. Can we keep it going? Because uh, in my heart, I don't want her to be dead. I, yeah. I want her to be found uh, and living. I, I think the museum mode that they're working on no matter what Maria's fate is, dead or alive, uh, I think they're gonna we're gonna find her there. I think I think that's the way to do it. I think that's really cool. Yeah, uh, I, I just want I want to be surprised because that's the that's a big one. Finding Maria, what happens to her? That's the big one. Yeah, I what on the the topic of leaks when it comes to this as well. This was something a little cheeky that they did. You probably saw early on the vo lines from maria leaked that they were finding her body yeah those are not in the files anymore interesting so you're telling me there's a chance (laughs) what do you think (laughs) of the famous uh nancy's secret room i i think they are totally fucking with this (laughs) not even on the map it's not even on the map no i i that's another one that could come up in the museum mode uh there's dude these people are so good at like, I don't know if you remember tech after the tech test, but there were actual like builds of the game where you could go around in a fly cam and look and learn the maps. It was a ridiculous mod, but people can do that right now for Nancy's house. If they're not finding a secret room, there's not a secret room. Yeah. Maybe I was thinking maybe a tease for a future map or something. Cause I love the idea of them updating voice lines to have yeah. teases for f- the future dlc i think that's so creative yeah Wait, what's with sissy's voice lines you, you heard her since the update no i don't think so she she sounds completely different really like to to the point where people thought it wasn't christina Kleeb anymore but i'm almost certain it's christina Kleeb. uh i think they either had her re-record her lines so that she didn't sound as good because her voice just sounds like shit now. It's oh, like she wow, lost yeah. all her singing talent. Um, or they they put some serious like reverb and and they played with the EQ on her voice a lot because she's like higher and pitchier now and she's not singing as well. But it still sounds like Christina Cleave to me. Interesting. Hmm. I, I don't. I got to play more sissy now. Yeah. She got she got new songs. She's she whistles a lot now. So I have heard the whistle. Yeah, that's creepy. Yeah. Uh, did you see that they were back in mocap? Did you see that? Yeah, that's interesting. I wonder what that's going to be. Yeah, I wonder if Bill Mosley was there. Is that what you yeah. think is next? You think Chop Top's next? I I'm almost certain they're going to do Chop Top. Like there's I I still refuse to believe the whole like we don't have the license to the sequels thing. Yeah, it it, it doesn't add up to me. Uh, but I don't, if they're going to do that, I think they're going to do licensed characters after the story of Maria is told. I, oh, I, interesting. Yeah. Until we finish all that lore out and Maria is either dead or alive. And if she is alive and released, you know, mm-hmm. until all that story is told about these characters, these original characters, I don't think they'll touch uh, licensed stuff. That's a good way to go about it as well. It is. It lets us uh, keep the lore intact and and all those backgrounds, but also then we can experiment with the the future films and things like that. Yeah, it's it's because right now the the game is in this very serious space. Like it needs to be seventy. It needs to be seventies accurate. It needs to be scary. You know, and mm-hmm. if you move outside, if you go into licensed content, it does. It honestly doesn't even matter what movie you go to. 
after the original, it's not as scary. It's going yeah. to start getting comedic. Uh, so yeah, you need to tell the story, get that lore out of the way and take the game very serious. But then yeah, we'll get chop top in there, get, get TCM two content. We could even run into the eighties. if You want to actually like start playing around with the eighties, but uh, I will say, cause this has come up a lot lately because, uh, uh, Scott Taylor Compton was on Ronnie Hobbs Instagram story. I don't know if you saw this, but she was twerking at the mocap studio. I did see that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, I think it was pooch dog made a video. It was like, Oh, they're recording emotes. And I'm like, dude, I swear to fucking God, <laughs> yeah. they put a twerking emote in the game. You lost me. I'm all for emotes, but they should be, they shouldn't be toxic ones. They should actually be productive, like pointing and asking people to come here or what, something yeah. else. Please, God, like don't the Chad dancing is not going to work in TCM. It's just not the same IP. Um, I'm down for having more fun and doing fun things. But if we have a twerking character in 1973, <laughs> you lost me a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm not opposed to it if it's just for Julie, but no, nah, I don't <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't think it fits the game. Yeah, that's no, a that's a a weird one. You put some fun stuff in there, but let's not get carried away. I, I, same thing with like Halloween cosmetics. Like if you were wanted Halloween costumes, I didn't want Halloween costumes. I thought that was like a little too far. But mm -hmm. you know how like Connie has the orange pants, like that outfit. Like have let her have a shirt with that that has a jack o' lantern on it. Like things yeah. like that. You could do fall based cosmetics that fall into the Halloween theme that are not like, you know, La Chapa the Giant. Yeah, I, t I get that. You, th I was actually about to ask you, do you think they do any event for Christmas or is it still too early? It, it would it wouldn't be anything like visually. I don't think it'd be like double XP. Happy holidays. Like no Christmas tree in the family house. No, I bet you they're going to do another like Christmas card type of thing where like they did with uh, Nugget being Jesus, the, the birth yeah. of Jesus with Nugget. They'll do something like that where it's social media marketing for the holidays, but it won't be in the game, I don't think. That's fair enough. Be fun, though. Like they celebrate Christmas. I mean, come on. I mean, like I'm I love sure. Yeah, I love events. It's it gets people on double XP, whatever you got to do, and then. Throw a few little ornaments around the house. Yeah, you you could do some fun stuff with it. I mean, uh, the Christmas tree at the it's the cow. What a perfect Christmas tree window they got yeah. there. Uh, but then you're blocking the window, so <laughs> I don't know. You could, even if it was just at the menu, you know, like yeah. take take the uh, although you can't fucking see it because the goddamn <laughs> advertisement. Uh, but if you you know take the slaughterhouse that's it at the main menu. And just make that night and just put Christmas lights on it. Like, is that that <laughs> big of a deal? I don't. They doubled down on the advertisement. I thought it was going to get smaller for sure with Danny and Nancy. Yeah, I felt a little disrespected, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I felt, like, yeah, I, they they mentioned they, they address it on Reddit that they're going to. It's like, OK, it was probably too big. And then a new update comes out. They're like, no, nah, we're not changing it. Yep. It's going to take up your whole screen. I forgot the slaughterhouse looks like, honestly. <laughs> Crazy. Um, okay, now I think that's it. I've hit all my bullet awesome. points. Uh, Anthony, plug everything you need to plug. Where can the people find you? Uh, just youtube.com slash IAntonyD. Yes, sir. Go subscribe. Uh, we do something on your channel. You're bringing me on. Am I allowed to be on there? Yeah, I don't know what we can do. If you want to come carry me in Texas, you're more than welcome to. Well, I, I'm gonna need you to carry me. <laughs> I'll make that happen. You're You're a pretty good victim, though, yeah? I'm decent. I, when I try, I'm decent. Yeah, yeah. That's a problem. You you don't sweat like me. You don't you don't have that that competitive uh, douchiness that I have in the game. <laughs> I do privately, but when when I'm like streaming or recording, I just want to get chased the whole time and scream. Yeah, there you go. I like that. Uh, okay, all right. That's gonna wrap up this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.